That was the Saskatoon Community Youth Arts Program Incorporated, or SKIA. Up next, we will meet a cosplayer up close and get to know how she creates her own costumes. All that and more when SK Asian Connection returns. Stay tuned. And I made these antlers, and I also it lights up. Um, mm, I put okay. some little. Um, oh, that's cool. Lights with it. I also down here. I have some uh, these shoes I made. These are for my mermaid costume as well. So I got these shoes from Valley Village, and then I added the scales. That We're back here in SK Asian Connection. At this point, let's get to meet a famous cosplayer and drag artist. She is all over the Facebook and her style is all her own. Let's watch as we get to talk to Mara Pistachio. With me today is an avid cosplayer and drag artist. She is also a student here in Saskatoon. Please welcome Mara Pistachio. Welcome to SK Asian Connection. How are you, Mara? I'm really good. Thank you so much for having me. It's oh. really a good opportunity. Oh yes, thank you. <laughs> and then, first of all, where did you get the interest to be a drag artist or a cosplayer? Yeah, tell us. so um, it was from watching and attending my first drag show just as an audience member mm -hmm. after I newly came out uh, as a member of the LGBTQ community. And seeing that first drag show I was I really enjoyed it and it really got me to feel passionate about it. So then and it was a local drag show, a bunch of local performers. Here in Saskatoon. Yeah. Okay. And then I kept going to more and more of the local shows and then eventually I felt like it was something that I wanted to do myself as well. Wow. Can you remember your early trials of being a drag artist? Yeah, um, so when I first started I I was I wasn't very good at makeup at all. Like I had just started doing makeup, and then started doing a bit more creative. But it wasn't good. But eventually, the more I did it, the more I got better and better at it. So nobody it. taught you how to do makeup. No, I was really mostly self-taught. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's just it just takes a lot of like work and passion, and then it becomes really good after. Okay, so were there any wardrobe malfunctions that you have experienced? Yeah, sometimes like I usually will keep a little sewing kit with me if I'm going like on a, at a performance, mm -hmm. just in case if something yeah. breaks and I have to <laughs> sew it back. Uh, one time particularly, it was a bit funny. I had these really high shoes. Plus, high shoes? Like, yeah. Plus, How many inches? I'm not sure, like maybe this what? is like platform Five. and then a heel, so oh, it was like really, really big, wow. like really high shoes. And the problem is that I didn't practice with them beforehand. <laughs> and so I was there on stage performing in those shoes for the first time. And then so I started dancing a little bit because I felt more comfortable. And then I realized like I forgot I was in those shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and so then I was almost falling off the stage because like, I tr like almost fallen because I was like tripped in those shoes because they were so tall. Is there any memorable cosplay moments? Um, well, definitely last year when I was on tour, we did the there's a drug company called YXZ Drug Collective. Mm -hmm. It's a um, it's made of multi like local drug performers. They formed this company, and so last year I was part of their tour. They did a tour around Saskatchewan. I did multiple stops, but my best memory was when we were in Gravelberg. So we went to a bunch of just most a lot of like small towns. So Gravelberg is a small town, in, uh, which is francophone speaking and I, I'm French as well mm -hmm. so it was really cool because I could do some performances in French there and there was a lot of people that came we performed in the theater and there was a lot of people it was really nice like the setting the lights were really professional and then the really nice memory was 
Uh, after the show, I was with one of the drag queens whose name is Roxy Roller. And we went to the bar and the others were coming along later. So we were the first two there and we were just gonna get some drinks and some food. And there were people at the bar that were from the show. And then as soon as we entered, like everybody was cheering for us. Wow. It was really nice. It, I felt almost like we were heroes or something, <laughs> you know? Let's talk about your stuff over here, mm -hmm. okay? Can you describe all of these? Yeah, so these are all stuff uh, that I made myself here. Um, this here is a little mermaid tiara. Because I have a mermaid outfit. For one of my performances, I did like a little mermaid, but with um, my own design. So, and I did a whole costume with it. This here is a uh, little panthers I, mean, I made with uh, some deer ears. Deer and ears. There's little bells with it. And then... Um, What's that one? This one. This one here is a hat. So my one of my friends like showed me this hat that was at Valley Village and said, hey, like this looks like, this reminds me of your drag. <laughs> and so I bought it and I added some flowers, some oh, little, those are cute. little moss, and I made these antlers and I, also it lights up. Um, mm, I put okay. some little um, oh, that's cool. lights with it. I also, down here, I have some uh, these shoes I made. These are for my mermaid costume as well. So I got these shoes from Valley Village and then I added the scales that I made myself and some uh, seashells. I also have the shoes I'm wearing right now. I also got these from my first stores and then I did those um, little flowers on them. And oh, there's this one here, which is um, a veil that I made. It was actually, um, I repurposed a Halloween skirt and uh, made a veil. So there's a here, you can see here, this is where it goes on the head, and then I added these little flowers. All those are nice. Yeah. And then I can show off my costume too, so I made these little wrist cups here, um, which is like, my mom said it looks like Wonder Woman, but I, I made them for like my mermaid costume as well. And then there's my cloak that I, I sewed this recently as well. I've started sewing recently, um, so I'm uh, and I unfortunately I don't have a sewing machine, so I hand sew it's everything. Nice. Um, I'll show off my dress too. Oh, I made this oh, that's cute. dress here. So do you do face painting as well? Yes, I yeah. do. Can you tell me about those um, face painting? <laughs> yeah, when I started drag and that makeup and all that. Uh, I didn't do face painting at the time, but then I started doing more creative, more mm -hmm. colorful looks. And that's what got me into doing the face painting and the body painting. I can show, I have my little makeup case here. I can show a little bit how you do it. Um, so what I use is a lot of like um, products from Mayron. Unfortunately, you can't buy them here like at a store. You have to buy them online. So this here is one of their palettes for body painting. Okay. And then you can use it like without water, but I find it's better with some water. So I like to just keep a little spray bottle. I just put mm -hmm. some water in it and then just spray it on the palette and then take a brush. I'm gonna, just going to use one of my small brushes here. So I just take a brush you blend it a little bit with the water and then you can do some design. So if I'm just, I'm just gonna do some on my hand here. Like I'd like to do a lot of like swirls, for example, like, you know, and then you can just use a little bit more paint. You don't wanna have too much water because after it might like, it might, the water might leak and drop. Um, so you just wanna have just enough so that it looks pretty and it doesn't have too much water. Okay, so um, is there, do you have any advice to those, uh, to those people who are into drag or cosplay? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. 
Um, what I would say is like, even if you're not good necessarily at it right away, and if you don't feel confident enough, that's okay. Like, I think one of the things that's really important is to just get started at it. If you really feel passionate about it, and to just try it out, and like you'll get better eventually as you uh, as you practice more and more. Because as I said, I when I started, I wasn't good at makeup, but then I got really a lot better the more I practiced.